everyone! Last week we worked on a series of lessons in addition and we worked on math problems that had sums up to 20. Now this week we're doing the opposite operation. So hopefully you know what the opposite of addition is subtraction. That's right. So we are going to work on subtraction problems this week. And today we're going to start with using doubles to subtract. So here you can see I used my great artistic talent, which I don't have very much. And I drew three kids here and three kids here. And what we're going to do today is we're going to use what we already know about doubles math facts in addition to make subtraction easier. So let's look at this picture. I have three kids here, and I have three kids here. So all in all, if I count them, I have one, two, three, four, five, six kids. Now hopefully you know that already. You should know that one. That was an easy one. And I'm gonna put my sum here, because three plus three is six. Now. What I want to do today is I want to use what I know with doubles to create subtraction sentences. So if I know 3 plus 3 is 6, then I also know 6 take away 3 will equal 3. There's a relationship between these three numbers. This, this doubles problem can be reversed into a subtraction problem. And one thing I really want you to know and pay attention to because this is important, the greater number has to start the subtraction sentence. It wouldn't make any sense if I had three take away six because if I have three, do I have six to even take away? Mm -mm. It won't work. So you have to begin with the greatest number. So here, when you're adding, the greatest number is always the sum. When you subtract, you do the reverse. You start with the greatest number and you can take away the others. All right, keep watching, we've got more. All right, here's another way of looking at what we were talking about, using doubles to subtract. Earlier this year, I introduced the idea of triangles with the numbers in them. And we used these to understand the relationship between numbers. So we knew that any of the three numbers that were in the triangle were related in some way. It was, one of them was a whole and two others were parts. And so we were able to use them to create number sentences for both addition and for subtraction. So I'm going to use this method to um, elaborate a little bit more on what today's lesson is. So as you can see in this first triangle, I have the three numbers. I have a 12, a 6, and a 6. Now those numbers are all related and I'm going to use my math fact, my doubles math fact that I know to create my addition sentence. So if I know that 6 plus 6 is 12, then I know that if I saw a math problem that said 12 minus 6, I can instantly figure out what the difference is. And remember, the answer to a subtraction problem is called the difference. Remember, we're using math terminology in school. So 12 minus 6 would be 6. So what would be the addition sentence for this next one? There's a 14, a 7, and a 7. The doubles math fact that I know is 7 plus 7, and I know it's 14. So now if I saw the problem, 14 take away 7 on my paper, I would know, oh yeah, those are all related. 14 minus 7 is 7. All right, go ahead and do this one out loud. Let's say, what would the addition doubles sentence be? I hope you said 8 plus 8 equals 16 because that would be correct. Which means that if I saw a math problem that said 16 take away 8, what would be the difference? 8, that's right. Do you see the relationship between the numbers and the operation? All right, let's do this last one. I have the number 18, the number 9, and the number 9. 
what is my doubles math fact problem? Nine plus nine equals 18. Now, hopefully you know that by heart now. Now, if I saw the math problem 18 take away nine, I can use what I know here and I can find the difference there. What is the difference? A nine. Good job. So if you're ever unsure, you can draw a triangle and put the numbers in. You can just hopefully use what you already know about your doubles fact and just do the reverse. But one more time, I really wanna emphasize this, that when you are doing subtraction, the greatest number is what you start with. In all of these problems, you can see that in the addition sentences, the greatest number was the sum, and in the subtraction sentence, the greatest number was at the beginning because it's the whole and you're taking away a part from the whole, leaving you with another part behind. All right, this was an introduction to our math for this week. If you didn't understand something, you can always watch it again. If you did understand, go ahead and open Seesaw for your activity. See you tomorrow.